Catherine Bigelow's filmmaking career began more than 40 years ago now, and though her filmography isn't huge, it is varied and consistently interesting. It's also home to several great movies, and several more that are still probably worth a watch. She specializes in making gritty action movies, thrillers, and war films, but has explored plenty of other genres, too. She also has the distinction of being the first-ever female filmmaker to win an Academy Award for directing, after about eight decades of only male winners. Due to the eclectic nature of this body of work, it's not the easiest thing in the world to rank the films of Catherine Bigelow, especially if one's to do so in a way that'll annoy as few people as possible. What follows is nevertheless an attempt to do just that, with all ten feature films directed by Bigelow ranked below beginning with the not-too-bad-slash-interesting-slash-somewhat-flawed and ending with the best. 10. The Weight of Water 2000 Starring Sean Penn and Elizabeth Hurley. The Weight of Water 2000 image via Lionsgate Films. In a post-2022 world, it's hard to talk about The Weight of Water without thinking about a certain epic-length sequel to a fairly obscure 2009 movie known as Avatar, especially because for a couple of years, Bigelow and that film's director, James Cameron, were married. The Weight of Water versus The Way of Water. It feels uncanny. Of course, the two movies couldn't be more different when it comes to genre, because the former is a crime-slash-thriller rather than a sci-fi epic. The plot centers on a woman looking into a strange murder that occurred well over a century ago and finding her own life starting to reflect aspects of that past ordeal in strange ways. It's an overall not terrible film by any means, thanks to having a decent cast and overall solid visual presentation, as one would expect from a filmmaker like Bigelow. It's not hugely memorable or unique necessarily, but it does the job well enough for this kind of film, and for its time, too. 9. K. 19. The Widowmaker 2002. Starring Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. K. 19. The Widowmaker Zero Image via Paramount Pictures. K. 19. The Widowmaker has some surprising competition in the thrillers set on submarines department and does ultimately come up short against movies like The Hunt for Red October, Crimson Tide, and, especially, Das Boot. But that doesn't mean it's lacking the capacity to offer some solid action and thrills for those who don't mind some cinematic claustrophobia. It's a given, after all, when much of a story is set in such a confined space. The story of K-19, The Widowmaker, is inspired by real events and involves the crew of a nuclear submarine having to prevent a potential catastrophe after unforeseen complications slash malfunctions arise. It represented a small uptick in quality compared to the weight of water, but is still one of Catherine Bigelow's lesser films, perhaps being most memorable for featuring an interesting Harrison Ford performance. Given the whole Russian accent thing point eight. Blue Steel, 1990. Starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Blue Steel Jamie Lee Curtis feature image via Metro Goldwyn Mayer. A thriller starring Jamie Lee Curtis that gets surprisingly dark and uncomfortable in places, Blue Steel certainly feels like a relic of its time. It might have felt a little more streamlined or believable back when it was released, but watching it now does reveal quite a strange, yet ultimately intriguing film. It essentially revolves around a rookie cop, played by Curtis, and the way her professional life unravels after she kills a man while stopping an armed robbery on her first day on the job. Things get a little far-fetched when a witness to the shooting becomes dangerously obsessed with Curtis's character, and her falling for him doesn't feel believable, given the heinously bad vibes he gives off right from the get-go. But that aside, Blue Steel does still succeed in being intense and unpacking the difficulties of being a woman in a workplace that's traditionally seen as masculine and or patriarchal, and certainly works more often than it does in Point 7. The Loveless, 1981 Starring Willem Dafoe The Loveless, 1981 image via Atlantic releasing Long before he became one of Wes Anderson's favorite actors, Willem Dafoe had an early starring role in Catherine Bigelow's feature directorial debut, The Loveless. As is often the case with debut films, it has a smaller scope and a more personal narrative than many of the director's subsequent films, principally here revolving around a motorcycle gang causing havoc in a small town they stop at. With Dafoe playing one of the main bikers in said gang. If the premise sounds familiar, it's because almost 30 years prior, an early Marlon Brando film, The Wild One, 
featured the same basic story and also served to be a pivotal role for that actor. Still, the angsty themes around rebellion and alienation were as topical in the 1950s as they were in the 1980s.